We're trying to make some pitches to Aaron Judge, man. We're trying to get Aaron Judge to the Bay. The land of stars. The land of legends. The land of champions. And right now on the line to make that pitch, fresh off his album, Stunner, which is still banging. My guy, P-Lo. P-Lo, what's happening, man? Welcome back to the Roast. Man, what's good, man? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? Hey, man, a couple days off from the dubs. We feel good after the win. <laughs> we got some issues, but hey, we feel good right now. Niners about to come back rolling. We know Shanahan and McCaffrey about to make some magic happen. But how do the Giants get Aaron Judge, P-Lo? Man, uh... Man, you got to make it happen, man. I, I I know Aaron Judge, you feel me? He a Northern California guy. You know what I'm saying? He grew up a Giants fan. I, I looked on his Wikipedia. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so I, I know he, I know he want to come home and play, man. I know he want to come home. You going to get him in a video or what? Man, man hopefully, hopefully, man, Aaron Judge, man. If, if you're out there, man, if you're out there listening to the morning roast, Come back home, man. Come home, man. Come hey, that's home. the that's the pitch we need, Pilo. We got to guarantee Aaron Judge <laughs> a cameo in one of your music videos. We got to make that happen. One thousand percent. One thousand percent. Hey, hey, Pilo. Like w when you look at it right now, like you got Steph Curry obviously doing what he's doing with the Golden State Warriors, and they're just like mega superstars. You know, everybody loves the 49ers, and right now Christian McCaffrey feels like he's on top of the world in terms of name recognition. People are in love with him. Debo had his moment, and and he's still a superstar. The Giants need that guy, right? Like they need a dude that we can. You know, he's swagged out. They they have no swag since Bonds left. It feels like. No, 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 1,000%. I, and I think, uh, you know, Aaron Judge really, like, answering the prime, really, like, the prime of his career, it would be dope to have him here in the Bay, here here in Northern California, you know, where, where you know, where he can really shine and do his thing. I know New York is cool, the pinstripes is cool, but we talking about the San, we talking about the San Francisco Giants. You know what I'm saying? Yep, no doubt, no doubt. And he could have dinner with Steph Curry down the street, Clay Thompson, go down to Levi's. You got all those stars down there. I mean, come on, Eric just got to come home. And we got to make Oracle Park cool again. Like, we got to make it like it's lost that sizzle. It has. You know what I mean? It's lost, like, Chase's, like, you did a performance at Thrive City the day your album came out, Stunner. That's and Thrive wow. looked ridiculous, yeah, Pilo. It looked ridiculous. insane. We got to bring that down the street to Oracle Park. Yeah, no, no, no. The, the, I feel like the Giants, uh, yeah, for, 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 the, for like the past couple of years, we had some great teams, but we just haven't had that like that that centerpiece, that the, the anchor to really really take us over the top. And I feel like Aaron Judge is that guy. Pilo, what what you got going right now in terms of going around the the country with the with the new album? What, what are you guys doing? For this new album, because I've seen you all over the place. I've been yeah. trying to follow you on social media. You're everywhere, everywhere, all at once. So, what are you doing this week for the album? Um, uh, we're actually doing we're we're, do, we're doing a pop up in um uh, in San Diego, Ooh. and we're doing a collab with my homie uh my homie Rory. We're doing a uh, like exclusive collab team with Co Creative, um, and we're also doing it at, at a Filipino restaurant called White Rice. So, so yeah, we're just bringing out, bringing out the people, bringing out the community, um, and, just, and just just putting it all together. But yeah, man. And then um, we got we got a show, we got a show in Alaska, we got a show in, in Hawaii mm -hmm. in December. Just to, just to keep spreading the album, man. We, we, we just we we just we push it, we push it. You know what? It's funny. My, so my wife's Filipino, right? And her aunties, they roll tons of lumpia. They throw it in a freezer. And then, you know, your boy's over here deep frying them like crazy. I feel like that is the cuisine that's undersold here in the Bay Area. I know there's everyone got their little hole in the wall spot. So what's your little hole in the wall spot for Filipino food? Like, what's what's the place that you go to when you're in the Bay? Um, Lucky 37 or, yeah, Lucky 37 is amazing. Uh, I, I love Senior C6. Oh yeah, Senior um, C6 so bomb. That's uh, so, that place uh, is so yeah. bomb. Phil Lamb in uh, in the South City is 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 incredible. They got the incredible is that on Grand? I, I think so. It's, it's, they got like the they, they got like the big. Uh, they got like the big like chicken shears or the yes. pork yeah, yeah, yes. yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, throw them, throw them on the grill. Those are crazy. 
Yeah. No, no doubt. No doubt. Pilo, safe travels to San Diego, man. We always love when you come on, man. Yeah. Stunner album, Stunner anthem, good. I'm good. I'm still bumping that with Larry June. Um, th this album was incredible. Hey. Much success to you, Pilo, man. And you're really doing it. You're doing a damn and, thing. And when the video does come out where you get Aaron Judge out there, me and you, we're going to okay. stand next to Aaron Judge, and it'll be like that Jose Altuve Aaron Judge photo. I, I'm, I'm oh, putting myself in the video, too, now. Come on. Aaron, Aaron Judge, man. It's time, man. It's time. It's time. Come home. It's time. I, love, I love how you ignore Shasky getting in the music video. I, I don't want blame you, Pilo. I don't blame you, Pilo's A-listers only, man. A-listers <laughs> only. Hey, Pilo, man. <laughs> Safe travels, dog. Good to hear from you. Appreciate you guys, man. You're Anytime, Pilo, man, on the morning roast making this pitch to Aaron Judge. has hitters. It's got hitters. It's got hitters. It's in rotation. It's in the rotation, no doubt about that. It's got hitters. We got somebody else coming out of line in a second here. Going to make their pitch to Aaron Judge. 888-957-9570. Your last chance to make a pitch to Aaron Judge. I, I, I think the Filipino spot he was talking about, I want to say it's on Grand. It could be could be Miller. I don't know. You know that little corridor? There's a killer mm. uh, burrito shop over there. But I know the Filipino spot he's talking about. I forget what block it's on. If you know in South City, please text us. MDK1 says he has a pitch that was amazing. What's your pitch, MDK1? What's your pitch? The best pitch... It, Cue up the Lubman pitch, Spadoni. Sam Lubman's pitch was the best pitch. Wow, it's three minutes and 34 seconds? Wow. <laughs> Damn, I don't know if we can play that. <laughs> All right, hold on. <laughs> Here we go. Three minutes and 34 seconds long. Can't even fit in an Instagram video. Here we go. Sam Lubman's pitch <laughs> for Aaron Judge. Here we go. I don't know if I can get the Barrier Light Skin Coalition, but <laughs> I would point to Aaron Judge be like, Aaron, listen. Think of all the great names that have worn this this uniform. Aaron, <laughs> look, 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 look. look. Willie Mays, like we just got this documentary on him. Imagine one day you getting a similar treatment because that's what happens when you come to the Giants. You become elevated to a level of star that you're just not going to see in other markets. You're going to be beloved here. In a way that you will never be beloved mm. in any other market. You got Yankee fans booing you. Oh, well, that's just par for the course. That's how Yankee fans are. You know who's not like that? Giants fans. You want to know why? Because you're going to come here and you're going to put balls all over this yard. Left field, center field. You're going to be the first right fielder to just crank one out into the cove. You want to know why? Because you were born to do it. You were born to come here, wear this uniform that you cheered for as a kid growing up, and just paint the town with greatness. <laughs> that oh is what God. you are meant to do. Oh, you want to know what you're going to be playing next to? Well, you know what? We got this guy. Uh, his name's Trey Turner. We're going to sign him too. You want to know why? Because you deserve to play with the best. That's what we do here in San Francisco. We put the best players on the field with the other best players. You win one ring, you are God here for life. God. Look at Tim Linscombe. Look at Matt Cain. Bungard. Pence. All these guys. Good point. Absolute legends. And you want to know what, Jaron? You are better than all of them. <laughs> That was not even half of Lubbock's pitch. He's about to Man, cry. He was about to cry. He was about to cry. That's about as long as the guru so question. That, we could only play half of it, maybe. Oh, <laughs> see, that's not right. It's not right. I, the right yeah, that's to that's me. not right. Because the man, the myth, the legend is on the line no, during the Guru Johnson. No, he Live isn't. in the garage because he's about to get loud and he's got to get out because Mia's going to kick him out the house if he is too loud. I know what Guru, that is like. his questions are 30 seconds or less. We all know that. Daryl the Guru Johnson on the morning roast making this pitch to Aaron Oh, Judge. I love it. Guru, Let's what's go. happening? Aaron, you are the most prolific baseball home run hitter in the game today. We all heard it. They booed you. They booed you. The audacity, Aaron. You are from the West Coast. You'll never be Jeter. You'll never be Jay-Z. The Giants are starving. They need a star. Steph Curry needs help. Come home. Willard and Dibbs. 95-7, the game is in Linden today because we want you, Aaron. Barry Bonds, the home run king. Willie Mays, Chili Davis, Kevin Mitchell, Jack Clark. Aaron, come be the next. We need you. The Bay needs you. The West Coast needs you. We heard the booze. Come put on the black and orange. Be the next and hit those balls in the ocean. You will be a star and you will have swag. Come home and you know Drake said it. I'm coming home. Come home.
<laughs> oh my God, I love you! <laughs> Guru, <laughs> you are the best. Hey, Guru, the only thing we're missing is the water looks like it reminds you of Mexico, that cove out there. <laughs> <laughs> I forgot that. I forgot the Mexico. Hey, I called it the ocean. Oh, I love you guys, man. <laughs> Great pitch. Good, you're awesome the best. pitch. You're the best. We got the Cavs and Warriors best. tomorrow. I know you're okay. watching Kings and Cavs. We're on the league pass like me. We got to get Shask in a league pass. He's mixing the action, Guru. Hey, I got to leave you with this. I watched that doc, you guys. Oh. You, you, it was incredible, man. History is amazing, right? It, it is. is. It's How good was Bonds? How good was Bonds? How about Bonds set the tone, Guru, at the beginning of the doc? It was incredible. I, I don't know what to say, man. I heard you say you dropped a tear. I did. Go to Shafsky, Shafsky's dad. I watched it with Pops, and I'm just like, my gosh, man. Hey, real quick. And he, he wanted to live in the house in San Francisco I know. when the neighbors didn't want him. I know. And I then, know. then and then after he bought the house, you know, people were harassing him. It's it's a very yeah. well known in that neighborhood story. And it's a sad one, but Willie Brown said it very like very poignantly. Oh, he was, great. He was yeah. so good. He said it was the necessary step to move the entire mm -hmm. city forward. And it's a part of the history and you just have to look at it and go, you know, <laughs> we can't repeat this, you know? We we cannot. And, and we got John Shay coming on the show today. Do you? you guys killing it, man. Oh, yeah, Do the Shay Hey Kid. Nice. He was, he was, he was awesome. a star of that documentary. Yeah, he was great in it, too. He was fit in too. Did, Did your they, dad like it? Yeah, their pops loved it, man. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. How about the names? Oh, goo, right. goo, Tito Fuentes. You got Dusty <laughs> Baker. You got Moises and Felipe. You got Costas. I mean, it was oh, incredible. It was a who's who. Dude, it was incredible. Cepeda, all oh, the Cepeda. dudes, and they all looked up to uh, Willie, man. The, how about Costas dropping million-dollar words? I'm looking up the dictionary, looking at <laughs> half the things. You said, all right, Costas, we get it, dog. Uh, <laughs> it's, it's all I was looking at. Hey, I love you guys, man. All right, Goo, have a good show you today. Know. The Shea Hey Kid coming on with Stardy and Guru. A lot of fun, man. That was <laughs> He's the I was going to intro. He came in hot. I loved it. God, I that loved was it. so good. Gabriel in Napa. How you gonna top that pitch, Gabriel? What's I happening? Think, You're on the roast. Well, I'm not gonna cry, but um, <laughs> you know, I might. Uh, if he comes here, I'll say some hallelujahs. Considering I bought seasons this year and uh, struggled through that, mm. gave away uh, ninety percent of my games. Woo! Give me the judge. <laughs> uh, you know, I love Rennell. Rennell's the greatest. She is opening day of the park. Amazing. What a and by the way, what a great leap forward by the uh, San Francisco Giants. Always being progressive in this uh, area of the country. I don't mm -hmm. know if she was the first woman or first African-American woman to ever have that responsibility, but she's the best, yep. that's for sure. Yep. Um, so, you know, the pitch to Sam, let's face it, uh, Judge and Aaron and, and Sam can go anywhere in this country uh, and go anywhere they want. I could go get them a reservation at the laundry in about an hour. <laughs> they don't need me. Um, but I do like the angle of, Giants fans, that's not who we are. We don't pull that garbage like she says. You know, we're, we'll turn our back and we'll be like, this stinks. I'm going to go to the French Laundry for dinner tonight. <laughs> anyway, costs, costs about the same much. Costs about the same, right? Yep. Uh, I would just say let's focus on one thing. Uh, numbers, right? I'll give you some numbers. You ready? Mm -hmm. Here's what I do. $550 million do $51 million for nine years. Final year, $99 million. Wow. And watch him hit a 501 foot home run. Who's hit the glove? Forget about the bag. I think McGuire, McGuire in batting practice came close, but I, I could be wrong. Did Andres Galarraga come close one year? No. Yeah, I just looked it up. I just looked it up. 489 feet was Giancarlo. Wow. Hence hit one 497. <laughs> uh, somebody else hit one down the line. Maybe would have come close, but it, you know, directly down the line. Anyway. Get us that guy. Yes. Giants, you know, there's nothing worse than being boring, right? Yes. Nothing worse than totally being boring. Agree. And, dude, leave your number. I'll, me and you can maybe work out some ticket swaps this year. There we go. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. Uh, Gabriel, good pitch. Good pitch. Good he pitch. He said he gave away 80, you know, like 50 games. I'm like, all right. Well, I'll, I'll pay you for some of them. Well, yeah. I don't know how much you're paying. Not last year. Well, if I don't have to pay the Ticketmaster resale acquisition prices, they, they throw all these surcharges and things in there. It drives me nuts. <laughs> Tickets for $7. So, Fees, 48 I got to agree. I think we both can agree on something here. We probably had the two worst pitches of the day.
Well, I thought mine was a practical pitch. I was pretending like I was in the room with him as opposed to like <laughs> so screaming at him. Sassy. I don't know why I got so, so into character. You don't believe Guru thinks he was in the room pitching to her, Judge? Well, Guru would that's do that. That's what we do. Yes, that's true. I'm I thought I was pushed around. Yeah, when I said the Bay Area Light Skin Coalition, I thought I was in the conference room at 24 Willie Bays Plaza. Would you agree? I know that you've been you've been hard at times on Giants fans, like in terms of them being a little softer when than some of the other fan bases. Uh, that's not true. B. That's they, not true. They worshipped a cat of a player who had a well, year and a half of, of well, success with the Giants. Giants fans do drive me crazy. Okay, so that being said, <laughs> wouldn't you agree if he came here as a free agent? I mean, Zito came here and was one of the biggest bust free agents <laughs> in the history of I was baseball. was at his first game. Okay, he had one five inning performance in a playoff game. Five innings. He went five innings and Lincecum came in. And he's a legend. A legend. We don't even talk about the contract. Now, obviously, he had the World Series game as well after that. But I'm just saying, like, that was like literally for Giants fans. Salvage the career, right? Yep. 137 million in the words of Radnich. And <laughs> he ended up being a just a bust. It was a bust of a signing. Yet you ask Giants fans they're like, well, they won the World Series. Two of them with him. And one of them he didn't even participate in. Damn. They do worship him. We worship the bunny. We worship the cat. We worship the giraffes. I forgot about the bunny, the therapy bunny. The milkman or the milkman, whatever you want to call him. I mean, that's what we do here. Not my cup of tea, but hey, it is what it is. We would go nuts if Eric Judge came here. The gavels, mm -hmm. the wigs. I'd go to games in the Judge robe. What do they call the Judge robe? They just call it a robe? I don't know. There's a word for it. I don't know. I, I, would, I would just go there. I would just go there and, with a wig and the Judge robe every single game I, with the gavel. I'd be that guy. Oh. I'd be that guy. My favorite of all the images of Giants fans over the years, because we, we get a bad rap, I believe, right. by especially like A's fans hate Giants fans, and I get yeah. that. The A's greatest, fans are hard, though. I give the A's. A's no, fans are hardcore. They're the toughest of the tough. Yeah, I mean, you There's got. No doubt. I had a four foot eight white guy tell me, you better be careful of the A's game. I'll knock your head off talking about my team. and said, damn. Oh, all right. Well, okay. That's neither here nor there. <laughs> I was going images of all Giants fans. My favorite one of all time is when there's the Giants fan in the front row at a Dodger game, feet up with the San Francisco Chronicle that said Dynasty during the game. Do you remember that image? No. Yeah, they, they, the Chronicle had printed Dynasty, and he brought it the very next year in 2015 to the Dodgers stadium and was sitting in the front row, and it's an image of him with his oh, feet up. Oh, yeah, 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 to me, is one of the greatest of all time flexes. That is a from flex. a Giants fan. Giants fans know how to flex. Props. And here's the deal. Here's the deal. This Dodgers fan base has been taken over Oracle Park. I know. You were selling merch at the final series that I was at. I couldn't believe it. Dodger merch. It's getting ridiculous, Giants fans. That can't happen. And that's something we're going to have to sell Aaron Judge on. Hey, look, we need you. You see all this blue in our stadium? We need you to offset that. We need you to get these bums out of our stadium. So they're not going to want to come this year and just hit home runs. That's what you're bringing to the table. You're bringing a winning attitude. And that it, it's driving me crazy. Dodgers fans have taken, it's basically Dodgers Stadium North. Let's just call it what it is. How we talk about the Rams Stadium is so far, Niner fans say, that's what the Dodgers do to Oracle now. I don't want to admit that. I'm admitting I'm it. I'm not ready to go that far. I'm, I'm admitting it. They've made it Dodger Stadium North. I kind of hate you for saying that. No, I know. That's the truth. It the hurts truth my hurts. soul. The truth wow, hurts. Wow, dude. The truth hurts. Let's go to Paul on Highway 24. I'm North. a Dodger fan. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? There's literally a chop of guru for everything. Uh, Paul, Highway 24. <laughs> What's happening? Hey, what's going on, gentlemen? Hey, uh, I think Guru kind of uh, led me to a thought. Uh, Aaron Judge wouldn't be known as the home run king in at San Francisco, where I think all around the country he's kind of thought of as the home run, the new home run king. I uh, don't want to be a naysayer, but uh, it just came to my brain. Well, we'll do mental gymnastics and we'll embrace him. <laughs> I mean, that's not a problem. I mean, uh, that's kind of an ego thing, don't you think? I mean, he wants to be known as the home run king. He comes here. No, he everybody's didn't. talking about No, no, no. That. Time out. Time out. It, let's, let's talk factually. Aaron Judge, throughout the year, said the true home run champion Is for Barry a single Bonds. season was Barry Bonds. Yep. He was very, very concrete with that. I think that's a good PC way to put it, man, but I think there's an ego thing involved there. 
Uh, I disagree, Paul. You're killing my vibe, Paul. Highway 24, drive safe. By the way, the boys, Willard the Dibs, are in Linden, California. Aaron Judge's hometown. That's where they're doing the show from today. Mm. It's back hall, man. Come on. Aaron Judge said it over and over. Barry Bonds is a home run king. Barry Bonds has a single season home run record. If he goes anywhere but the Yankees, it feels like and it's not the Giants. Let's just say it's not the Giants. That would be that would be devastating. Like if another team came, emerged, the Dodgers. Shoot, I don't know. You feel like it's a done deal, huh? What Giants? For Giants and Aaron Judge. I mean, there's too much connective tissue here. Everybody, even New York, more people, so than when Bryce Harper when, was coming here. When I saw, remember Bryce I Harper, know, I know. We woke up in the morning. I know. And there was going to be a nice minute fan fest. I know. And a lot of us look bad on that one. Yeah, well, we, they were squeezing that 13th year dude, out of the Phillies. Dude, yeah. they, they, but fan fest, he thought Bryce Harper was coming, up. dog. I never bring that up. <laughs> got to bring look, it up, man, because we got to brace ourselves for the disappointment if it does happen. Look, I just don't understand why Cashman would no comment a bunch of things, say that we're going to trade away infielders. They just, feel like, and I know you're saying, they won the AL East. B, I'm looking at them and I'm saying to myself, their future is not that great. Their no. form is not that good. Well, I'm telling you, kind Toronto, of Toronto, Tampa, Baltimore, Boston are coming. They're going to be cellar dwellers. That's where the Yankees are at right now. Yes, yeah, so I, I, I just I'm, I know a lot of people. Like, Why would you leave the Yankees? Like, dude, Dwight Howard left the Lakers, and that was the perfect time to leave them. Dude, you know, Shasky. Now I'm going back to Aaron Judge's. The first time I saw Aaron Judge. When's the first time you saw Aaron Judge? Hit? Oh, I remember. It was the ESPN, Red Sox, Yankees. And I was like, who is this Sunday giant night baseball? human being? Yeah, it was, had to be because that's okay. you know that was the matchup for 12 straight years. Right. And like, who is this giant human being who can run like the wind? He looked like a tight end. So, first time I ever saw Aaron Judge. True story. I'm with Danker out of all people. Oh. Out of all people, with Danker. Spring training, Yankee game. Spring training. Okay. Tampa Bay. Tassan, just like... I don't know. It was making a sandwich or something. Mm, gambling. And I heard, no, I definitely don't gamble on free <laughs> trading. I ain't that guy. But making a sandwich or something. And click, you hear this, you just hear the sound. Yeah. What the hell is that? Rewinded it. And it was Aaron Judge. First time I ever laid, I swear to God, ever took laid eyes on him. And he hit a ball. And the outfielder, it was uh, the left fielder just kind of looked back and was like, yeah, that's gone. And it was a master shot. And I'm like, who is that? Because, you know, the hype of Joey Gallo was starting oh, yeah. to rise, right? Oh, yeah. Joey Gallo hitting light, hitting light towers and stuff like that. And the Never minors, more than 290. Right. And Aaron Judge, hits, I swear to God, I was on ESPN. You know how they play spring training mm -hmm. games? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, damn, who is that? And then he goes on to hit 52 home runs his rookie year and win the rookie of the year. And so now I'm thinking the Giants have a chance to get that guy. I know. That I wasn't even watching. It was just the sound. I was like, what the hell was that? Did you, by any chance, see the Crawford kid, Reggie Crawford, who they drafted, who was on he MLB was on, Network? Yeah, he was on yesterday. It. Yeah, so he is obviously rehabbing right now. He's a hitter and a pitcher. He's as big as Aaron Judge, like 6'7". Mm -hmm. um, I quietly think he's going to fly through their minor league system. Yeah, I, I kind of looked at him and I was like, huh. Isn't he pitching too? He's, so he's a dual, dual he's, player. He's Otani. He's gonna, and he's working out with the Giants how to balance the pitching and the hitting. So, yes, he is. That's the hope. He's going to be an Otani type of a player. And who's his favorite player? Aaron Judge. Aaron Judge. Oh, gosh. I'm just going full circle here.